So Gwen Stanley and I are in Mammoth Lakes, California, doing a little training block here, 35 days. You know, and I had to start thinking, Gwen and I have been to, gosh, we've been to a lot of different places to train, you know, be it Falls Creek or Wollongong or Vitoria. Uh, we've been to Woodland Park. So far, we've been here for about 12 days, and, and I think we both just love it. You know, we're staying at 8,500 feet, and the, the trail options that we've had have just been, have seemed so far to be quite endless. So, you know, I think this might have actually been a really great place to train for triathlon. The only issue is just getting here is a, is a bit of a pain. So it's a 12 hour drive from Portland. The nearest airport's three hours away. So when you come here, you have to kind of make, really make this your home for, for a while and station here. It's not a place that I'd look to to go to and from. Yeah, so I'd say, you know, the reason we came here is that those decisions are really up to Gwen's coach, uh, Jerry. So he just kind of says where you're going to go and then and then we we go there. So one one distinction that I really like to make is I don't necessarily like to call these training camps. I like to think of this as a second home for us. So we bring things here that just make it feel like home. That's why I'm here. That's why Stanley's here. It might be real simple things too, like our rice cooker, our Vitamix. Um, you know, I brought a whole big, like our spice cabinet from home. I just brought that here. We drove the van here. I brought all of our bikes. So really made an effort to make Mammoth Lakes feel like home. Um, I think that just kind of helps with morale. That helps um, you don't get it homesickness. So that's one thing that, that I really try to um, an idea that I try to put to other people is I don't like to call it training camps. I like to just think of this as a second home. And so far, uh, Mammoth Lakes has been a fantastic second home. Yeah, I think, you know, my role um, is real interesting because now instead of just taking care of Gwen, I'm also taking care of Stanley. And that's something, you know, it's been great here because I've got in the afternoon, I've got uh, an hour, hour and a half to go ride my mountain bike. And that's something that I absolutely love doing. So it's been a really for me, this has been a really inspiring place because I'm, I'm motivated to ride my mountain bike every single day, which isn't something that I really see in Portland, um, or that I struggle to find in Portland, I guess. Um, so it's been, it's been just a really great place and, and just to go around and like the views are amazing. So it's hard not to just be inspired and motivated every single day to continue my work for Gwen and Stanley. Are they jumping from up there? Whoa. Dude, we gotta do that. Um, <laughs> you know, so I think about back when I was racing bikes and the what I learned through through that, and then now what I've taken that to now to running and and you know, I guess I didn't foresee myself being a, a caretaker in the running world or the triathlon world, but I just use what I've learned from cycling. So you know, I know that if me going and shopping for groceries or doing laundry or cooking meals it's just if i can take that off of gwen's plate um that you know will, will be so worthwhile for her on on race day or for just for training sessions um you know and i think what's been great about having stanley is he's provided me like a lot of motivation and a lot of purpose so i don't get hung up on you know thinking about Gwen's races or what results she's going to have because Stanley now has just provided so much perspective so I'm motivated to work harder for Gwen but I think being able to almost turn that off and have like another life outside of racing and just having Stanley around has been so beneficial for for Gwen and myself you know I think what's been really cool about Gwen uh, coming into running is we've we've got a system we found we had a system in triathlon to help her perform and I think that's been that's carried over and, and is very applicable to to running as well. So um, not a lot of changes from the day to day. The biggest the biggest change that we've had is just having Stanley around. But like I said, that's that's just provided so much more I think motivation and inspiration for us to do our work every single day. Um, you know I've been really excited about it, and it's it's a it's a big it's a big investment on both our parts. You know I guess I I technically don't have a job. Gwen is, you know, the the employee of our of our group, and I work for her. But 
it's just I wouldn't cha uh, change it for the world. Well, I, I mean, I think, you know, our goal is we, Quinn and I always want to win. You know, whether that was the same way in triathlon, it's the same that she's obviously got a big goal of wanting to win another gold medal in Tokyo. You know, she wants to qualify for the Olympics. Um, you know, we're both, we wake up in the morning and we both want to win. Um, I try to do everything I can to help her to get to the starting line with as much, um, you know, with as much ease for her as possible. So when it's race day, it's on her. Um, you know, she was really gracious after the Olympics and she said, you know, she said, I wish I could share this medal with my coach Jamie and, and I guess me, but you know, that's really, that's really her time to shine. And it's, uh, it's my job beforehand to, to, to help get her as ready as possible. So no, I really, um, I'm motivated every single day to try and help her win. Yeah, I think the biggest thing that I try to help you know, streamline with here when we're at camp is just, well, I don't want to say camp, I want to say when we're here at our home in Mammoth. Um, you know, I just want to try and make the day go by and as smoothly and as easily for Gwen as possible. So, you know, if she goes out for a run and comes back, I want to have breakfast or lunch on the table or, you know, just try and um, make it so the, the day can happen as smoothly as possible for her. Um, so I try to go run errands with Stanley when, when she's working. Um, that's that's what I try to do. That's what I try to make happen for her. Um, you know, life here in Mammoth is quite easy because there's just no traffic. There's only one or two places to go shopping for. So all of these these things around town are within 10 minutes. Uh, you know, she's got massage basically right next door to her. So we've got a pretty good little setup here to to really try and hone in and get the best performance possible that we can.